I never knew exactly what it meant to be a mother. She completely opened my eyes to a whole new world that I didn't even know existed. Simulation is an awesome opportunity for our clinical staff to learn hands-on competencies with regards to patient care. Simulation is a robust environment where we can help staff understand better ways to communicate, better ways to use equipment, better ways to interact with their patients and each other. It's just an amazing educational opportunity that our staff have actually taken quite advantage of. Simulation is real-time learning where staff can come in and perform in a scenario and not be worried about making mistakes particularly in a rural environment, simulation is really a key way to deliver education to our staff. We're a low volume hospital, but we see very complex medical problems sometimes. By providing simulation training, you can simulate these things and be able to refresh people's minds on what's happening. And also, I think, relieve some of the stress that comes along with some of these events because there's something they can go, oh, hey, I saw that a couple months ago when we did simulation and I know what to do. So by doing simulation, you get to know your team players, you get to know the strengths and weaknesses, you can better anticipate where you're going to fall short or where you're gonna succeed. Everybody's very clear about what their role is, they're clear about what needs to be done, and they're clear about what they're doing. Just recently, we were awarded over $92,000 for high fidelity mannequins that are used in simulated scenarios. This is unheard of in any kind of rural environment, and we are so fortunate to have that kind of commitment from our local donor community. Kelsey is one of our certified scrub techs in the OR and actually participated in a simulated event of an obstetrical emergency. I remember the staff coming back to me after the simulation and saying, you know, that was amazing. It was incredible. We learned so much. We made all sorts of process changes. Seeing the first simulation, we realized that we didn't have a lot of things in that room that we really needed. Well, lo and behold, about three months later, Kelsey herself was the person in need of an emergency C-section. I truly believe because we had that simulation and those instruments, it made it so much faster that they could get her out quickly, they could get her breathing faster, and now she has no brain damage. Dr. Rodriguez and the nurses that were involved went right into action. They weren't fumbling around. They knew what to do. They'd already done it. They went right to the OR. They knew where the C-section pack was. Opportunities identified during that simulated event actually were instrumental in helping Kelsey. In her C-section, the safety of her baby, the safety of herself, and ultimately their outcome. Everybody's totally convinced that we would have had the outcome we did had we not been able to practice that beforehand. I think it solidified for every single person at this facility that simulation is powerful and we really need to embrace it and it actually can increase the patient outcomes here at St. Luke's Wood River. So when you have a organization like our Fantastic Foundation saying, let's do more simulation and here's some equipment and resources to do that simulation, it just helps to spur us on to do more of that. I can't stress enough how amazing our donor community has been with regards to simulation. Doing simulations was a, an enormous gift to me. It directly affected me and two other families in the Valley that followed mine. And I greatly thank you for giving us the means to do these simulations. From the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me.